In this video, I'm going to show you how to tie a Kringle mat, also referred to as a Danish mat. This style of a mat is best done using natural rope and for this project I used a quarter inch hemp rope. Now, for this specific mat, which is a 3 pass one, I used up about 25 feet of rope. Now before we can actually start tying this mat, we need to prepare the rope. So I have my hemp rope here and there are two things that we need to do to the rope in order to prepare it for tying. The first one is to secure the ends of the rope and you can not simply tape them up or you can use a common whipping technique in order to prepare the ends and prevent them from fraying or unraveling. I'm going to leave a link in the description of this video that will show you how to do this. Now the second thing that you can do is that if you have any fibers sticking out of your rope, you can take something like some wax and simply wax your rope and that will make your fibers lay closer to your rope and thus make it more smooth. Now once you've done that, we can begin tying our mat. So I have my rope here and we're going to start at about the middle point in our rope. So basically fold it in half. We're only going to work with one end, which is going to be this left one. And what we're going to do first is we're going to make a loop, like this. We're then going to travel under this loop with the same end, like this, basically going under two. We're then going to pick up the end and split this loop by going over, under, over. like this. And with this we have one section done. We also created a new loop under which we again travel. So under 2 and again take your end and go over, under, over. We have two sections completed now and a new loop under which we again travel. Then go over, under, over in order to split your loop. And again we have a loop under which we again travel. and then split going over, under, over. Now let's say that we would like to finish at this point. So to finish, what we do is we take the same end and go under the loop like we did before. So under two, but then what we're going to do is we're going to remove the other end on the opposite side and we're going to place it over 2. So over this loop on the right going over 2. With our end, the left one that we used to make all of the previous sections, we're going to pass over the other end, over, then split this loop by going under, over, under, And then we're going to split this loop at the bottom by going over, under, over. And by doing this we have tied our crinkle mat. And the last thing we need to do is to place our working end next to the standing end on its right side. And this basically completes one pass of our crinkle mat. You would work in your working end all the way until you run out and then we begin with the standing end. Again following your other end and doubling up your knot.
Continue working in your ends until you run out of rope and you should have a 3 pass version of this mat ready. At that point we are going to finish it. Once you have tied your mat it will look something like this. The last step in making this mat is to join together the ends in order to prevent your mat from unraveling. Now if we take a look, both of our ends are here together and I had to cut one and reapply my whipping in order to get them to the same location. Now you could do some lashing here and that would also work, but I find that stitching does a good job and it's much easier. So to stitch these two ends we're going to need a needle as well as some thread. And I do recommend that the thread is of a similar color to your mat so that it won't be too visible. Now I'm going to thread my needle. And since this is polyester thread, I can simply pierce it in order to thread my needle. Like this. On the other side of my thread, I'm going to tie a simple overhand knot just to prevent my thread from slipping out while I'm stitching. So, once we've done that, we come to the spot where both of our ends meet. And we're going to stitch them together by first traveling through two of my passes going towards the top side. Then we're going to turn back down and travel through all four of my passes. And then turn back into the knot, going towards the top again. Like this. And then again, two passes down. And with this, we have finished our stitching. And the last thing I do is I basically just create a little loop. like this and then tie off my thread. And I do that two times just to make sure that the thread won't slip out. And then I work in my thread on the other side to the bottom like this and at this point you simply snip your thread and your mat is complete. I hope that this tutorial was clear enough. It is a fun project to do with rope and it allows you to place your hot dishes on your table without damaging it. So thank you for joining me and see you next time.